First United Church is a community ministry that offers support services such as meals, legal advocacy, and shelter to people living in the downtown east side of Vancouver. One of our most unique programs is our storage facility. This is a place where up to 200 people can store their belongings so they can take advantage of the basic necessities that most of us take for granted. It's difficult for people who lead stable home lives to imagine what it's like not to be able to go to the doctor, to use a washroom, have a shower, go for a job interview, or wash your clothes because you can't leave your belongings for even half a minute. Especially when you're looking for work. Put on clean clothes, have a shower, shave, you know, look presentable. If you can imagine wandering around the streets with two blankets and a sleeping bag all day trying to do whatever else you're trying to do, uh, you know, it just makes it easy for it. My personal documents, my tax information, my personal ID, my wallet. The big thing that's happened is, is making sure that my medication's here. I have to take this every day. And right? if I don't take it, I get sick. When you don't have a lot of stuff to begin with, how important the few things that a person does have is, is, are to them. But this is where I keep all of my genealogy papers which dates back to the 1600s. I've got my journal. I read my grandfather's when I was a kid. Um, my father did it, right? I read his. It's a journal from my son. I've got a, a two-year-old son, and I want to share my experiences with him so that maybe he doesn't make the same mistakes that I've made. I have family photos in that that I can't be replaced and that I prefer to be stored here. It holds a lot of sentimental value because even though it's not my child's, it still reminds me that I got something to go for and I had my wedding dress in it. Convenient and safe, you know, it's, which is a hard thing to, ha to find down here. As far as we know, it's actually the only facility of its kind in the Lower Mainland. It's extremely important to have a live person serving people, not only because it adds to the security of people's belongings, but also because it provides a critical human contact that can build relationships, dignity, and a sense of belonging. It also gives staff an opportunity to direct them towards other gateway services which we provide at First United. The facility provides an important first step for people, a sense of stability, so that they can go not only to seek employment, to seek medical attention, but even to go to work. It's a way for people to build a sense of trust again.